I'm John Swanson from Portland, Oregon. I work for Pete Wilson Stoneworks. We build dry stack walls. It's pretty old school. You hit something until it's shaped the way you want it to be. It's just a way to build a wall without any mortar. Dry stack walls we build are made out of basalt. This is dense, it's heavy, and sometimes the angles are really sharp. What I'd like to do with your truck for this challenge is to load what is essentially four months of our pickup runs in the back of your truck in one day and see if your new aluminum bed can handle the challenge because I don't think it'll do well. We're at the Corbett Quarry in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. Today's plan is we're going to use the big excavator. We're going to pick up rock, load it directly into the back of the truck, drive the truck to the site, and unload the truck in a smaller excavator. That's fully abusive. But it's quick, and the object is to move rock today. My estimation is maybe 30 tons, if you're really doing well. But that's a lot of laps. My name is uh, Vince Gimeno. I'm the uh, pickup box structures supervisor at Ford Motor Company. Mr. Swanson has issued a challenge to test the toughness of the pickup box bed. If you're going to find a material that will mess up an aluminum bed, this is your material. This is an absolute extreme test. The sharp edges of the rock and the weight of the rock is a wild card. Steel bends, I don't know what the aluminum is going to do. This pickup box is an entirely new re-engineered box. It's stronger, it's lighter, it's smarter. The military grade aluminum that we're using in this pickup box is designed to withstand this type of abuse and we're highly confident that we're going to survive this challenge today. There's your bed, Vince. It's looking pretty good to me. It is. We'll see what it looks like at the end of the day. Sounds like a deal. Good luck. I would never, ever suggest you do this at home. All in all, this test is pretty outrageous. I don't think I really have words for uh, how this is being done. We're looking forward to see how well our engineering did versus what's going to happen in the real world. Basically, everybody who works with a truck, the bed durability is probably the key factor that comes to mind. Conditions out here are nice and dry for the Oregon summer. 95 degrees, you've beaten it to hell and it's still holding out strong. It's being tested beyond what we thought it would be tested for, but it's definitely holding up for us. Very proud of what it looks like right now. Note to my boss, let's get one of these. This is load number 51. I would not do this to my truck. I'm surprised Ford did it to theirs. Overall, after carrying 50 tons of rock in one day, it's uh, held up very well. There's no punctures in the bed. Tailgate looks good. This is too nice a truck to do what we did to it. Certainly, adding an excavator to remove the rocks from the mix was probably an act of lunacy, yet the bed survived that as well. I'm mightily impressed. I did not think that aluminum would hold up that well. My hat's off to Ford. They really stepped up to the challenge.